Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala program. I am Dr. Shoeb Lukman from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, Lucknow. Today, I am going to talk about introduction to lipids from the paper Lipid Metabolism. Actually, the term lipid was used by a German biochemist, Blor, in 1943. They are the heterogeneous group of compounds present in both plants and animal tissues related either actually or potentially to the fatty acids. In addition to these, they are also hydrophobic in nature, amphiphatic small molecules that may possibly be originated wholly or in part by carbonine base condensation of thioesters. The thioesters contains the fatty acids, polyketides, etc. and or by carbocation base condensation of isoprene units. And these isoprene units contains Phenols, the esterols, and other molecules. Being a vital component of the diet, lipids are a source of high energy value, and these essential fatty acids and fat soluble vitamins. They dole out as an extremely good source of energy and stored in specialized tissues known as adipose tissues. So apart from that, they have the common property of being relatively insoluble in water and in polar solvents and they are soluble in ether, chloroform, benzene which are the non-polar solvents. The lipids include fats, oils, steroids, waxes and related compounds like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. Monoglycerides, diglycerides, triglycerides, phospholipids and other which are associated more by their physical than by their chemical properties. Lipids extracted from the biological material by organic solvent for example methanol and they may be fractionated by implying thin layer chromatography, adsorption chromatography and reverse trace chromatography. Lipids are also a vital dietary constituent not only because of high energy value but also of presence of essential fatty acids and fat soluble vitamins present in the content of fat foods. Lipids serve as an efficient source of energy both directly and potentially when stored in specialized tissues known as adipose tissues. Fats also serve as a thermal insulator in the subcutaneous tissues and around certain organs and non-polar lipids act as electrical insulators allowing the rapid propagation of depolarization waves along with the myelinated nerves. So the combination of lipids as well as protein which are constitutively called as lipoproteins are important cellular constituents occurring both in the cell membrane as well as in mitochondria and serve as a mean of transporting lipids in the blood. So the knowledge of the lipid biochemistry is important in understanding many important biomedical areas like obesity, diabetes, atherosclerosis and the role of various 
polyunsaturated fatty acids of lipids in nutrition as well as in health. Chemically, lipids are defined as esters of glycerol and fatty acid or else refer as the triglycerides of fatty acids. Lipids are composed of fatty acid and glycerol and these fatty acids can be further subdivided into straight chain fatty acids and branch chain fatty acids. Apart from straight chain and branch chain, there is another category which is called as cyclic and substituent fatty acids. So the straight chain fatty acid can be further subdivided into saturated fatty acids. For example, those which is having less than 10 and those which is having more than 10. So, saturated fatty acid example may be propionic acid and the palmitic acid. Whereas, unsaturated fatty acid may be monounsaturated fatty acids, for example, oleic acid and polyunsaturated fatty acid, for example, linoleic acid. Among the branch chain fatty acids, there may be odd chain fatty acids and even chain fatty acids. And one of the famous example includes phytanic acid. The third category of fatty acid, which is a cyclic and substituent fatty acid, the example includes riconoleic acid, idnocarpic acid, and colomoagric acid. Fatty acids are acids that occur in a natural triglyceride and is a monocarboxylic acid with chain length from 4 to 24 carbon atoms, exception only the even numbered member of the series. Fatty acids are the organic acid that occurs in a natural triglyceride and is a monocarboxylic acid ranging in chain length from C4 to C24 carbon atoms. They are obtained from the hydrolysis of fats and naturally occurring straight chain derivatives containing even number of carbon atoms that is 4 to 28 and they are synthesized from two carbon units. Fatty acids are the vital sources of fuel yielding huge quantities of ATP and they contain carbon-carbon double bond and are recognized as unsaturated fatty acid and those without double bonds are known as saturated fatty acids. Fatty acids consist of a hydrocarbon chain with a carboxylic acid at one end. These fatty acid may be represented as 16 carbon fatty acid and these 16 carbon moiety is having both non-polar and polar groups. A 16 carbon fatty acid with one cis double bond between carbon atom 9 to 10 and may be represented as 16 is to 1 cis D9. The double bond in fatty acid typically has the cis configuration. So, the most natural occurring fatty acids have an even number of carbon atoms and this is because of the fact that they are made up of two carbon moieties. Fatty acids are therefore named after the corresponding hydrocarbons and they differ in length as well. For example, unsaturated fatty acids end with suffix enoic and the saturated fatty acids ends with the suffix anoic. And based on this, nomenclature of fatty acid has been given. Again, if you look at the chain length of the fatty acids, we can see that there are short chain fatty acids, those with less than 6 carbons, example is butyric acid, then medium chain fatty acids with carbon moiety between 6 to 12, 
long chain fatty acids with carbon units between 13 to 21 and the last very long chain fatty acids with chain longer than 22 carbon atoms as i have already explained that fatty acid may be unsaturated and saturated cyclic or substituent the unsaturated fatty acids are those which are having pairs of carbon atoms linked through the double bonds and can be saturated by dotting up hydrogen atoms convert the double bond to a single bond one or more double bond between the carbon atoms the unsaturated fatty acid either occur in a cis configuration or in a trans configuration when two hydrogen atoms adjacent to the double bond linked on the same side of the chain it is called as cis configuration of fatty acid the example of this class includes oleic acid and linoleic acid however on the other hand when the adjacent two hydrogen atoms lie on contrary sides of the chain, it is trans configuration of fatty acid. The example include elidic acid and vaccinic acid. The unsaturated fatty acid may be of the following types the monounsaturated fatty acids, those fatty acids which contains one double bond then polyunsaturated fatty acids are those fat fatty acids that contains two or more double bonds the polyunsaturated fatty acids in also icosanoids the signaling molecules made by the oxidation of 20 carbon fatty acids it includes prostonides, which is having prostaglandins, for example, PGE1, prostacycline like PCI2, and thromboxane, for example, TXA2. The icosanoid also contains leukotrienes, and these leukotrienes are characterized by the presence of three double bonds. The examples of decotriene includes LTB4 and LTE4. So, as far as the fatty acids are concerned, there are two types of fatty acids. One is called as saturated fatty acids, and the other one is the unsaturated fatty acids. So, fat, saturated fatty acids are long chain carboxylic acid with 12 to 24 carbon atoms but with no double bonds so that is the peculiar feature of a saturated fatty acids that it does not contain any double bonds as its name indicates they are saturated with hydrogen double bonds that are present diminishes the number of hydrogen on each carbon atoms since the saturated fatty acids have solitary bonds each carbon atom inside the chain has two hydrogen atoms except three hydrogen for the omega carbon at the end there are few examples of the saturated fatty acids such as capric acid palmitic acid and stearic acid among the fatty acid one important category is essential fatty acids uh, these refers to the fatty acid which are obligatory for the biological process but does not comprise the fats that merely act as a fuel there are two vital series of essential fatty acids that has been known the first series which is having double bond three carbon atoms removed from the methyl end and the second series of essential fatty acids double bond six carbon atoms 
removed from the methyl end. Human's ability to usher double bonds in fatty acids ahead of carbon 9 and 10 is rather scarce and henceforth has a restricted capability to transfer alpha linoleic acid into longer chain. Fatty acids, docosahexanoic acid and icosapentanoic acid can be obtained from fish. Linoleic acid, for example, omega-6 fatty acid and alpha linolenic acid, which is an omega-3 fatty acid, are the two essential fatty acids widely distributed in plant oils. Similarly, humans lack the ability to synthesize these two fatty acids, the linoleic acid and the linoleic acid, due to the absence of the enzyme desaturase, which is required for the production. In 1923, these two essential fatty acids were designated as vitamin F, but later in 1929, the studies on mice revealed that these two essential fatty acids should be categorized under fats rather than vitamins. Gamma linoleic acid, which is also an omega 6 fatty acid, and docosahexanoic acid, which is an omega 3 fatty acid, are occasionally classified as conditionally essential as they become indispensable under this developmental or disease condition. Similarly, in the human body, the essential fatty acids serves numerous functions such as they customize to make eicosanoids, the prostonoids and the leukotrienes that distress the inflammation process and several other cellular functions. The making of endocannabinoids that upsets the behavior, the mood as well as the inflammation process. Lipoxin formations is another function which essential fatty acid carried out. A fraction of eicosanoid derivatives produced via the lipoxygenase pathway from omega-6 essential fatty acids and resolvins from omega-3 fatty acids in the presence of acetyl salicylic acid downregulate the inflammation process. Isofurons, neurofurons, isoprostanes, hypoxylins, epoxy eicosatrionic acids and neuroprotectin D. These affects the cellular signaling by forming lipid rafts. They also either activate or inhibit the transcription factor such as nuclear factor kappa B and also act on DNA. The examples of the food sources with essential fatty acids are the canola oil also known as the rapeseed oil the chia seeds, fish and shellfish, flax seeds or the linseeds, seeds, hemp seeds, the leafy vegetables, the pumpkin seeds, the soya oil, the sunflower seeds and the walnuts. These are the good source of the essential fatty acids. Nearly all the polyunsaturated fats in the human diet are essential fatty acids that play a vital role in the life and death of cardiac cells. The deficiency of essential fatty acids results in either depression or dermatitis or osteoporosis. Another important category of fatty acid includes the free fatty acids. When the fatty acids are not affixed to other molecules, 
they are acknowledged as free fatty acids or uncombined fatty acids. The free fatty acids or the uncombined fatty acid ensued from the breakdown of a triglyceride since they are insoluble in water the free fatty acids or the uncombined fatty acids are solubilized transported and circulated through plasma protein albumin however their level in the blood is restricted by the accessibility of the albumin binding sites. Another important constituent of lipids is triglycerides. They are the most abundant form of lipids and constitute about 98% of total dietary lipids. Triglycerides are esters of glycerol with three fatty acid molecules. Glycerol which are alcohols have a hydroxyl group and fatty acid which are organic acid have a carboxyl group. Both the alcohol as well as the organic acid join together to form esters and during each ester formation the process is called as esterification one molecule of water is released. In triglyceride the hydroxyl group of the glycerol connect to the carboxyl group of the fatty acid to form the ester bonds. They may be fat or oil and are also known as triacylglycerol or triacylglyceride. As lipids are composed of the triglycerides, these triglycerides contain three moles of fatty acids which either be similar or dissimilar. Those fatty acids having the same kind of the carboxylic acid in all the three positions are called simple triglycerides and the example include tripalmitine and triolene. In most of the triglycerides, different kinds of fatty acids in position 1, 2 and 3 are present and such kind of triglycerides are referred to as mixed triglycerides and the example include oleodipalmitine. There are a lot of triglycerides obtained from the oil source and a number of them are highly unsaturated and few of them are unsaturated. The saturated triglycerides are those having single bonds between the carbon atoms where hydrogen atoms bond with carbon atoms while unsaturated compounds have double bond between carbon atoms and this plummets the integral of places where hydrogen atoms can bond to carbon atoms. Furthermore, the triglycerides at room temperature which is saturated have an elevated melting point and are more likely to be soluble while unsaturated have a lower melting point and are more likely to be the liquid. So the triglycerides are the key constituent of vegetable oil that is unsaturated form and animal fats which is a saturated form and also it is present in human skin oils. In naturally occurring triglycerides, the chain lengths of the fatty acids contain even number of carbon atoms which is either 16, 18 or 20 carbon units. The triglycerides in bacteria and ruminants 
fat, the odd number of carbon atoms are present. Majority of natural fats include an intricate blend of individual triglycerides and due to this they deliquesce over a wide array of temperatures. In triglyceride forms, lipids cannot be engrossed by the duodenum unless broke down into fatty acids, monoglycerides and a few diglycerides. In the intestine, the triglycerides is split into free fatty acids and monoacylglycerol following the secretion of bile and lipases in a process called lipolysis. Triglycerides advances to the enterocyte cells lining the intestines and rebuild it from their fragments. Wrap up with proteins and cholesterol to guise chylomicrons. An array of tissues incarcerates the chylomicrons and releases the triglyceride to be worn as an energy source. The triglycerides can pass through cell membranes freely via the fatty acid transporter. Only after it, it splits into fatty acid and glycerol by lipoprotein lipases. They are being the foremost components of chylomicrons and very low density lipoproteins and play an imperative role in metabolism as energy sources as well as transporters of dietary fats. Comparatively, 9 kilocalories per gram or 38 kilojoules per gram energy is released compared to carbohydrates which liberates 4 kilocalories per gram or 17 kilojoules per gram of energy. The presence of high level of triglyceride in human body has been related to atherosclerosis, the risk of stroke and heart disease. Regarding the application of triglycerides, in oil paints and coating, dye and triunsaturated fatty acid components present in linseed and related oils are used which apt to congeal in the presence of oxygen. Triglycerides are also ripped into their components via transesterification in the manufacturing of biodiesel. The resultant fatty acid esters can be born as fuel in diesel engine. The glycerin, which is formed during the hydrolysis process, is used in the production of pharmaceutical and food. Lysochrome, one of the fat soluble dye, has been used for staining fatty acid, triglyceride, lipoproteins, and other lipids. The examples of lycro, lycro, lysochrome dye include oil red O, Sudan 4, and Sudan Black B. So, today in this module, we have learned about the prologue of lipids the introductory part of lipids and if I have to conclude in a nutshell lipids act as a fuel in the body they provide energy they provide strength they provide the nature that the body needs energy and this energy like a gram of lipids yield 9 kilocalories of energy. Apart from the good source of energy, the lipids also exerts an insulating effect in the body. They are a good insulator. They provide the padding and the protection to the internal organ, for example kidneys. In addition to the energy source as well as protection of the internal organs, 
lipids also supply essential fatty acids which are not produced in the living organism for normal health growth and development of an organism not only this but also lipids are vital for fat soluble vitamins like vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k fundamentally the constituent of the cell wall the cell membrane as well as most part of the cell are composed of lipids for example mitochondria and this way lipids play an important role in many functions of the cell so what i can summarize is that lipids are incredible they are incredible for an organism and today this is what in introduction we have learned thank you very much